guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my acne coverage foundation routine. Um, clearly my skin is just a disaster right now. I have very bad hormonal acne and I have been trying to figure out how to cover it because nobody wants to show their acne. So if you'd like to see how I cover mine, please just keep on watching. Before I get started, I want you guys to know that cameras are so deceiving when it comes to showing your skins and all your flaws. I swear when I upload a video, my skin looks so perfect. And in real life, that is not even close to the case. You can't probably see all my blemishes that I can see. And then whenever I get done with my makeup, there's still gonna be texture there. You're still gonna be able to see a little bit of a blemish, but that's just how life works. So if you're putting this on the same way I am and you're like, well, why doesn't it look as good? It's because cameras are so deceiving. And when I watch videos, I'm like, dang, how did they do that? But now I get it because I've seen it with myself. So unfortunately, that is what it comes across like. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is going to conceal these bumps. And what you wanna do is use a concealer that is really close to your skin color. You don't wanna go lighter. If anything, go a little bit darker because that will mask the discoloration. So what I'm going to use is, this is so worn out and disgusting, but um, it's the e.l.f. cover. I can't even read it because it's so worn out. But anyways, it's in the shade tan. And I'm just going to put that all over the blemishes. This concealer isn't my favorite thing, but it's the only thing I have that's pretty close to my skin tone. So that's what we're going to go with. But I probably wouldn't recommend the e.l.f. concealer just because it's really, really thick. And it's really hard to like spread out. But... I mean, it's up to you. All right, and this is also gonna be drugstore products. So um, what I'm gonna use for foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte mixed with some uh, Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Fit Me Foundation. And the color of the Pro Matte is 103 uh, Natural Buff and the Fit Me is 220 natural beige. The reason I like to mix these is because this makes me a little dry, like it will stick to my dry patches, and this will help with that because it is dewy, and I don't wanna to look too matte, and this is almost too matte on me. So I mix them together, and what I do is I do mostly this and just a little of this, just so everything looks nice and natural and not too matte. So anyways, I'm gonna put this in my T-zone, and then I'll mix for the rest of my face. The Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And like I said, this is just the pro mat that I'm putting in my T-zone where I get the most oil. I'm also gonna dab it on my spots because it has a lot more coverage than the Dewey foundation. All right, now I'm going to mix for the rest of my face. Okay, so as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but I'm still showing, you know, the um, texture down here because that's where the bumps are the biggest. Uh, the forehead's pretty decently covered up. So what I'm going to do next is highlight and contour. And the reason I'm doing this next is because I'm going to try out the LA Girl Pro Concealer to contour with. And it is liquid and I don't want to use powder and then do this over it, you know. And I'm going to blend that all out with my beauty sponge again. And 
to spray my brush, brush with a little NYX setting spray. Maybe that'll help. And then to blend the nose, I'm going to use a smaller brush. And the brush I just used for my face is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I'm going to use a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. It's just kind of a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I'm also going to spray it with that spray as well to blend out my nose. Alright, that was my first time using this. Well, second time, but the first time it didn't even show up. And this time, like, holy crap. Just warning, if you're going to use this, you must have a lot of time to blend out because it is hard to blend and it is some thick stuff. Holy cow. And I probably used too much this time because that was like, oh, I didn't see last time. Let's use a ton. But, whew. Starting to look halfway normal now. Oops. Forgot about that part. So, now for the concealer. I'm going to use Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in Fair, number 15. And I'm going to put that everywhere I want to highlight. And then just blend that all out. And since I have a round face, that's why I didn't bring the highlight all the way out here because I don't want my face to look rounder. I want it to look more narrow and long. So. Just gonna have some dramatic highlight and concealer today, it looks like. All right, so moving on, finally. Um, I'm going to set my under eyes with the Rimmel Stay Matte and a little fluff pad that is really gross. I like using the little puff pad because I feel like it makes it look so much nicer and it just pats it in really flawlessly. The rest of my face, I like to use something with a little more coverage in it just to mask any um, thing you can still see. And what I'm gonna use is the Airspun Loose Face Powder and it will give you just a little more coverage because it is slightly colored. And I'm going to take a little bit and just dot it with a small brush on all my spots. And for the rest of my face, I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. Alright, so now I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup. But that is the basics of what I do to cover my acne. And like I said in the beginning, you can still see texture, but I mean it masks a lot of my breakout. All right guys, I'm done with the rest of my makeup and I'm a little depressed right now because if you can see my lighting is totally different. It's not even five o'clock yet and the sun is freaking gone. Like down below the trees, everything. Why does the time have to change on us? I don't know because I hate it. Why can't it stay sunny till 9 p.m. every night? Why? I don't get it. So I will leave all of the makeup I used in the tutorial down below in the description bar and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. My dogs are sleeping. Am I that boring? She's wearing little boy's underpants because she's in heat. Just FYI. I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.